Good morning, everybody. Um, happy Friday. It is August 30th, and this is going to be kind of a chat, and then I have a small grocery haul for you. So, um, I think I've told you guys in the past, on my past grocery hauls, that I've been doing the Trim Healthy Mama way of eating. So, I don't consider it much of a diet, um, as much as um, just a lifestyle. So... In Trim Healthy Mama, you have basically like keto meals, like high fat, low carb meals, and then you have low carb, more like Atkins meals, and you can eat both, but not together. The, the idea is to separate the fuel so your body burns the fuel itself, the fat or the carb. Well, <clears throat> I've been doing that nonstop for over a month now, a little over a month, and my weight on the scale hasn't gone down. Now I have been feeling better. I know that that eating the real food, the non-processed food, no sugar, no pop, things like that is doing really good things for my body. Um, but, so I discovered carnivore. I don't know if you've heard of it or, switch hands, or if you've seen anybody else doing it or anything like that. Um, I've done a lot of research on it. I've talked to a lot of people who have done it or who have friends who have done it. And I talked Caleb into it. So for the month of September, we're going strict carnivore. Um, with the exception, with the caveat that I'm going to use some dairy products that I have in my fridge so that they don't go bad. Do you need out? Sadie needs out. Be right back. Okay. Okay. So I let her out. Um, Going back to the dairy, I have Greek yogurt in the fridge. I have cottage cheese in the fridge because those are great for Trim Healthy Mama. Um, we have sour cream. And all of those are animal products, so they're okay to have with carnivore. True, strict carnivore people only eat meat and mostly red meat, eggs, butter, salt, those are the four main things. And a, like I said, a lot of them only eat red meat. <clears throat> we are going to do it a little different in the beginning because we have groceries already that I don't want going bad and I don't want to waste my money or the food. So we will be clearing that out and eating those things. And we are adding in cheese, which is still totally fine, but we are going to do it in small amounts and which will hopefully add a little variety to our diet. So I'm excited. We are starting this on September 1st, which is Sunday, two days from now. And I've already done a little stocking up for this. I did a big grocery haul, which I did not film because it came at right at five o'clock when we first got home from work and I just didn't film it. I just got dinner on the table and put it all away. But let me show you this. This is, I went to Walmart this morning. I had the day off today and Monday for Labor Day weekend. I went to Walmart this morning to get some disposable pans because I'm going to be doing some meal prepping for this so that we can stay completely on plan. No excuses. And they had a ton of meats on sale. Now you guys know that I don't buy a lot of store-bought meats. I We buy our cow and pork, our beef and pork in bulk off the hoof. Um, and we have quite a bit of chicken stocked up in the deep freeze. But when they have sales like this, I'm grabbing meat, especially since this is all we're going to be eating. And I also bought eggs because my chickens are being some slackers right now. They are eating all the food and not giving back very much. Um, so I did buy eggs and I'll show you that. So let me flip the camera. I'm looking at everything. Also, um, for drinks, it's water and you can have black coffee. I'm having half and half in my coffee, at least for now, because I have a ton of it. And with carnivore, you can have heavy cream. So I did buy some heavy cream in that last haul. I'm going to use my half and half first because it's older. And then I'll switch to the, the heavy cream. I'm hoping to wean myself completely off of, of all of that coffee included. But let me flip the camera. Let me show you the things I got and we'll talk about it. 
Okay, this was still on the counter from the last grocery haul, but I wanted to include it to show you that we are doing some processed things. Caleb is used to having just a granola bar for breakfast. Like he doesn't eat normal breakfast. I usually have a yogurt. He normally has a granola bar. Um, we are replacing his granola bar with something like this. This is not the best choice because it does have, well, it only has, let me show you. It only has one carb. It doesn't have any sugar. So this might be okay. We're really focused on taking sugar out of our diet and trying to get rid of most of the carbs that don't come naturally in this kinds of food. So, okay, so here's the meats. So they had these pork chops um, on sale. Just, I mean, not everything's like huge sales, but they are on sale. Uh, these steaks, they look a little washed out. I'm used to very fresh, very red meat and this is just beef. I have round steak, so it'll be fine. I did buy a 10 pound bag of leg quarters, chicken leg quarters. Chicken is not highly sought after meat on carnivore just because it's so lean, but I'm reading and listening to bloggers that do this, doctors that do this actually. Dr. Ken Berry is the one I'm following most. And it's okay to have chicken, but having the dark meat is better. And eat the skin because there's lots of vitamins and fat in the skin. So that's why I got this, um, stew meat lean. I will probably just fry this up like little tiny steaks and we'll just eat that. I got, um, one package of ribeye. It was on sale for almost $4 off. That's pretty good. They had, um, ground pork. And I will tell you, we're not going to be eating steaks and stuff every day. These are every once in a while, every, you know, we're going to be mostly having ground meat, easy things to prepare mixed with eggs for higher protein. So that's, I don't want you to think that we're going to eat steak every day because this is not realistic as far as budget goes. But when I can find ground pork and ground turkey and ground beef on sale, I'm going to get it. And this is what we're eating. So, um, I got three of these cause they are on sale. I got a three pound log of this ground beef and the higher, um, the higher, but normally you get the 80, 20. Um, I saw on, I think it was Ken Berry that said, if you can find 73, 27, get it. And I did. That's what this is. Um, of course I got two 18 packs of eggs because like I said, my chickens are being slackers and I did get a dozen of the hard boiled eggs pre-done. Um, this is going to be so easy and a great, if I'm feeling a little hungry, snack. And Caleb's doing this with me, guys. Like, he is fully on board helping me with this, doing this with me. Um, I did get two blocks of cheese. We freshly grade our own cheese. We don't buy any grated cheese, with the exception of Parmesan, ever, anymore. Sometimes mozzarella if we were doing sourdough pizzas, but we're not obviously doing that now. Um, so, I got some parm, and then I got two more blocks of cheese. I keep a ton of blocks of cheese on hand already like I have a, a good back stock of it so this is just filling in for what we ate this week the big key that I'm reading is because I, I don't I mean honestly I don't know why uh, just keeping the salt up keeping your um, electrolytes up is a good thing um, I did buy some other electrolytes and I'll show you those here in just a second that aren't necessarily good. And after I bought them, I was reading and they're just not good for um, getting rid of all the junk. We're still going to use them because I have them. But I went ahead and found these at um, Walmart just now. And this is zero sugar, no gluten. So there's no wheat or any of those kind of carbs in there. Here is the nutrition facts. If you wanted to see that. Um, no sugars, no added sugars, two net carbs per one stick. That's not bad at all. So this is what I got at Walmart today. I do have a few things out that I'll show you as well, but this is what I've got. Let me flip the camera. Before I turn the camera around again, I would thought I would show you. I did get Propel. I got two of those. I got two of the Gatorade zeros. And then I found these, um, which is the great value, but it's electrolytes. Um, 
sugar-free, but the problem is, is that these have sucralose and, you know, other things you can't really pronounce in it. And so that's the bad thing. These will be fine to get us through until they're gone um, and it'll keep us going. But I won't be buying these brands again just because they're not truly on carnivore plan. I also bought two containers um, of pork rinds because these are on plan with carnival. They're carnivore. They are simply pork skin. And most of the time, yeah, pork skins, salt. That's it. So most of the time these are also fried in um, their, their own pork fat. So I don't know about this brand in particular, but Okay, so that's what I've got right here. Um, we do, like I said, we do buy beef in bulk, we buy pork in bulk, and I have a lot in my deep freezers. Like my freezers are full. I have two different freezers and they're both full. Well, three if you're including the kitchen fridge that's full of stuff too. Um, I do have all of that meat as well that's going to be combined with this, but I just couldn't pass up these, these sales. So if you have any questions, let me know down below if you have any concerns. I, this is what we're doing. So, I mean, I'm listening to actual real doctors and I'm seeing real results on real people. So, I, this is what we're doing. So, I mean, frankly, if you have a problem with it, that's okay. Um, it's your opinion. This is what we're doing. So, yeah, we're going to try it for the month of September and see how we feel we may continue further we may not we'll just have to see but we're gonna try and clean up our gut and make our joints stop hurting and you know try and do something a little different here and see how we feel so that's all i've got for you today guys um yeah wish us good luck and i hope you subscribe if you like this kind of content let me know i know you guys like grocery hauls um, if you want to see more of this or what we eat in a day, especially since we're doing carnivore, if you want to know how we're eating it and how we're preparing it, let me know in the comments and I'll show you. I'll make a video on it and show you what we're doing. So that's it for now, guys. Bye.